This week in Tesla is all about the earnings call. Q3 earnings call happened just a, an hour or so ago. And uh, uh, the, uh, the news, of course, is this is Tesla's fifth quarter in a row of profitability. Again, never happened before. Four never happened before. Now we're at five. Uh, so uh, they have, have just uh, uh, indicated that this is their best quarter ever for yeah. profitability, for earnings, for cash. And uh, the, the hits keep rolling uh, for Tesla. Uh, with the stress of the pandemic, there were some possibilities that this was not going to be a great quarter. But the sales uh, and now the profitability is up and are at record numbers. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, fantastic news for Tesla as they continue to roll, uh, building two new factories uh, as they do it. So uh, I don't think uh, I don't think we're going to see anything but good news for the next quarter as well. But that's that's a future statement. We will see. But uh, in this uh, earnings call. They indicated that uh, Berlin and Austin would be online and producing cars, uh, both in 2021, so next year. They uh, indicated that um, uh, Tesla Energy took the stage for some time and talked about solar and storage. Uh, they've indicated that they've had a record quarter. 759 megawatt hours were produced in quarter three, another record for Tesla Energy. And uh, they have uh, indicated that uh, that both uh, solar and batteries combined have now uh, crossed uh, the uh, amount of uh, fossil fuel uh, for uh, dollar amounts. It's now cheaper to have solar and batteries together than uh, pull equal amounts of, in of uh, energy from fossil fuels in most countries. So they were just yeah. talking about how how the, the price has gone down for this and has now crossed the path of uh, fossil fuels in a number of different cases. <clears throat> they um, talked about, uh, of course, the first rollout of full self-driving, uh, which uh, happened last night. Uh, it was given to a, uh, a group of what Tesla calls safe drivers. So nobody we know. <laughs> Any safe drivers on this panel? Nobody on this panel, that's for nobody sure. Nobody on this panel. <laughs> Uh, at least my car says I'm not. We were hoping our own Casey Green would qualify, but apparently hitting that woman last week uh, counted against them. I think it's because <laughs> I've got the uh, data logger and they don't want that out there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm making a joke. It was a um, man. <laughs> <laughs> How are you kidding? It was a child. <laughs> Oh, God, it, gets worse. <laughs> it just gets better. Yes. <laughs> also, they indicated that full self-driving by the end of this year uh, would be in wide release. So that's most likely when Casey will get it as they start to roll it out further uh, beyond this safe driving community that they have uh, somehow come up with. Um, also, uh, an indicator as to uh, how the company has grown uh, vehicle capacity uh, over a year at both Fremont and Shanghai combined now, we're sitting at about 840,000 vehicles. So that number uh, has grown dramatically and uh, continues to grow um, as, as Shanghai uh, develops new efficiencies and they get completely up to, uh, up to par as to what they, they they, uh, they can design, I'm sorry, they can manufacture vehicles uh, coming off the line. So a lot of great news. We're, obviously, we could spend a whole hour on it, and we pretty well did on the Tesla life. But uh, here we're just touching on things. So uh, if you would like some more details, some more information, please uh, visit us at the Tesla life on Twitter, or you can get us on YouTube, the Tesla life as well. And if you care at all about Tesla, you have to follow Mark. That's the Tesla yeah. life on Twitter. That's the way it goes. You're right. Absolutely. Right. If not, you really don't care. And Elon sees that and notes it in his big magic notebook of good girl, good boys and girls and bad boys and girls. <laughs> and who gets updates and who, who gets, has to who wait? Gets the coal. <laughs> yeah. Who gets FSD and who doesn't? So I think we've all seen the, the commercials for the most interesting man in the world. Um, we are fortunate to have uh, Mark, the Mark, most interesting man in Canada on our show. 
Where did that come from? I don't know, but it was it was nice. It was <laughs> yeah. Yeah. very complimentary. <laughs> 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 <laughs>